Look at the empty stadium now. However, it will be packed with fans on Saturday because the phenomenal Tim Tebow will be running through this tunnel and playing on the Florida field for the last time. The Gator men's and women's swimming and diving team swam their way into an NCAA national championship title, but I'm not sure how they do it because the water it's pretty cold. Nearly 50 high school boys were selected to participate in the Jacksonville High School Pass Classic. And let's just say they were eager to compete. To some people, Taekwondo is simply just kicking and punching. But to the students here at K Tiger, it's more than that. It's a sport. They learn healthy competitiveness, goal achievement, and most of all, they have fun. When they aren't fighting crime or fighting fires, the Jacksonville police officers and firefighters are taking it to the ring to raise money for charity. Every year, many athletes come out to support the Goddard family by participating in the Jonathan Goddard Memorial Scholarship Golf Tournament. And if you would like to donate, you can visit JonathanGoddard.org. Marching over to the NFL, oh, did the Saints go marching in on Sunday with their big Super Bowl win over the Colts. And they are still partying. The Gators took on the number 19 Vols last night, and boy, did they dominate the court. The number one Gators defeated the Georgia Bulldogs 41-17 to in a big SEC rival matchup this weekend. Last year, they had a record of 63-5, and and this season, they're doing quite well also. After a four-game road trip to Clearwater, the Gators softball team will be hitting the field at home. <laughs> Many dream of making the big leagues, but so few turn fantasy into reality. Jonathan Goddard, however, was a man of his word, and he scored big by becoming an All-American linebacker. <laughs> that was great. Because, <laughs> you know, every little kid tells you that, but, you know, how many kids actually do it? So when, when he finally did make it, it was a really good feeling. It was very good. Made very proud. Goddard's success didn't come easy. He struggled with a learning disability and many people doubted him, but he managed to beat the odds. And he proved every one of them wrong because he fought for something he believed in and he, you know, as, as hard as it was for him to get through the learning disability, you know, he studied, he worked hard, and he, he made it. Goddard was diagnosed with dyslexia, which impaired his ability to read. He enrolled in exceptional student education classes at Ed White High School in Jacksonville, Florida. And of course, kids made fun of you being in ESE, so he kind of was the protector of all the other kids um, and stood up for a lot of the kids with learning disabilities and uh, made a difference in the school by doing that. Despite his academic struggles, Goddard plugged away at his books, and his hard work paid off. He received a scholarship to play football at Marshall University in West Virginia. He was told that he really would never be able to go to college or to do anything, and um, he made it. Goddard went all the way to the NFL. In 2005, he became the first Ed White player to get drafted into the NFL. He was a sixth round draft pick to the Detroit Lions, and later on, he joined the Super Bowl winning Colts in 2007. But his career ended unexpectedly with the Colorado Rush. On June 14, 2008, Goddard was in a fatal motorcycle accident. He was only 27. His family and friends still cope with his death. Wonder why, you know, and, and it wasn't my reason to wonder why. It was my reason as a born again Christian to accept God's, you know, His choice. I was kind of shocked mm -hmm. because I know He was really careful on the motorcycle and stuff. Just a surprise. Mm -hmm. It's not believable, really. Like, it was kind of like, okay, I don't really believe this. Like, maybe this is just a bad dream or something like that. Goddard's fiance said this was a tough experience for her and the kids. It was very, very hard for, as a mother, to sit and see that. Yeah. But there's no, you know, you, your kids hurt so bad and you always try to protect your kids and that's the one thing that you can never, you know, fix for them is, is giving them their daddy back. Bailey says her dad always made her smile when he called her Princess. Princess. And how did you feel about that? I liked it. Bailey struggled being a support system for her younger siblings after her father's passing. I tried to help them and stuff, but it was just hard. Like, without him, I mean... Goddard's sister Brittany says he always helped her with sports, and before each game, she recites a special prayer. And I always, um, he had a um, Bible verse that he liked, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I say a prayer and I always say that before like I go and do an event or something like that or a game. So. 
Goddard's death brought inspiration to his best friend JT. He created a scholarship for athletes with learning disabilities in Goddard's honor. And one thing I wanted to do was to make sure everybody remembered what he did, not what he did, but the person he was. He always had a smile on his face, just a, a gen, genuinely good guy. And you don't see that a whole lot with, with a lot of people. The scholarship fundraiser is an annual golf tournament, and each year his family celebrates his life on the course. The scholarship is so important to us as a family is because we are taking all of our memories, all of our love, and we're putting it into the scholarship because that's why it means so much to us. You know, we can't get him back, but we can continue his legacy for the rest of our life. While the scholarship honors Goddard's life, it also helps someone else's dream turn into reality. Every year, many athletes come out to support the Goddard family by participating in the Jonathan Goddard Memorial Scholarship Golf Tournament. And if you would like to donate, you can visit JonathanGoddard.org. Reporting from Eagles Landing, for all inclusive media, I am Brittany Jones.